What's up nail friends? In today's video, I'm gonna do an autumn set with some stamping, some argyle kind of plaid stamping and some acrylic colors. And I'll show you guys how I did that step by step. So if you wanna see that, just keep watching. So the first color acrylic I'm coming in with is from Glitterbells called Sparkling Shadows. It is just a black, but it has some shimmery silver in it, which makes it a little bit easier to work with than a plain black. So if you guys are looking for a black that's a little bit easier, maybe check out Sparkling Shadows. So I'm applying this at the tip first because her nails are a little bit longer and I like to get my tip done before I go around my cuticle area. So for anyone who's new here, I've mentioned this in other videos, but my client here has a huge chunk of skin sticking out on the left there of her cuticle area. And that is because she went somewhere a long time ago and they cut her really, really badly and it never grew back the same. And she actually, her nail indents in a bit now too in that spot. So just ignore that. That wasn't me that did that. And uh, whenever I do her nails, I actually cover, well, like kind of camouflage that area with crystals. So she doesn't have to like stare at the chunk of skin sticking out. It actually doesn't look that bad in this video, but I do have other videos doing her nails and they, it does kind of show quite prominently. So I just avoid that area with the acrylic and then I hide it with some crystals. So the brush I'm using here is my Glitter Bells number 12 brush. I love this brush so much. It's a really great brush. It's great for beginners or anyone really. It's got, it's not crimped, so it holds a lot of liquid in the belly, which is great when you're doing longer nails. So I'm coming in here and applying my cuticle bead. I forgot to mention here too that I did prep her nails before and applied a clear layer. So if you're gonna do black or dark harsh colors, it's always good to apply a super thin layer of clear. That way you can file back down to it. So I'm just applying this black color Basically, the set seems pretty easy and simple. Um, just black nails on three of them, and then the other nails are gonna have some glitter on them, and then we're gonna do some stamping, so super easy. But I like to apply my acrylic colors super thin, so I'm applying that, and then I'm patting it down really thin and even. That way, I have less finished filing to do at the end. And then if you miss any spots like I did right here, you can just pick up a little bit more at the very tip of your brush and apply a little bit more. So that's how that looks. The thumb is also black, but I didn't bother filming that as well. So now on the pinky and the pointer finger, I'm applying sparkling shadows at the very tip, fading it down, and then I'm patting it into place, especially at the very tip of the nail. Then I'm gonna come in with some glitter. So here is Fine Wine. This is a really pretty dark burgundy with some silver glitter in it too. So it's really pretty. This is from the Premix Glitter section on the site. So I'm using the tip of my brush to maneuver it around the cuticle area, trying to get it nice and even. And then I'm lightly and gently dragging it down into that sparkling shadows black. So right in the middle of those two colors, I'm gonna go in with Smoky Hollow. So this is like a darker gray holographic glitter with some silver in it, super pretty. So I'm just picking that up, applying it in the center of the nail and fading it down into the sparkling shadows. And then I'm coming in with a little bit more of that fine wine and then I'm dragging that in so it can get a nice, pretty, even blend here. And then I'm gonna actually do the exact same design on her pointer finger as well. For encapsulating these nails, I'm gonna be using my Glitter Bells glass slippers. So picking up a bead here, putting it near the cuticle area, using the very tip to work it around the cuticle area, trying to fully cover that glitter, and then I'm just dragging it down the nail. And then wiping off any extra that was on the nail. And then I'm going to pat it really evenly around the tip area, and that way when I finish file, like I said, it'll be a little bit easier.
So after all the nails have been encapsulated, here's how they look. So I'm just gonna go over finish filing really fast. I'm not really showing you guys much for here, but I just take a safety bit, I file the nail, I go around the nail, just debulk it, and then I switch to a hand file and then finish up my filing with a hand file. So only a little bit of finish filing with an e-file just to debulk the nail slightly. And then I do the rest of my shaping and everything with a hand file. And then I buff the nails lightly and gently, just not too much. You don't want to over buff the nails or your top coat won't stick. So this is the plate I'm using from Clear Jelly Stamper. And I'm gonna use this Argyle one. So I'm gonna go in with the Clear Jelly Stamper polishes because they're great. So this is number 45. This is just a really pretty silver. I thought it would match kind of not, I didn't want it too matchy matchy, just a little bit. And instead of doing the full nail, I decided to do three quarters of the way and then I'm gonna do a line of crystals. And then I'm using this red, same from Clear Jelly Stamper. Put it down, swipe it, and then instantly go in with your big clear stamper. You can see through your stamper so you can see where to place it to perfectly get your lines where you want them. And then I did the same stamping design on her thumb as well, but I didn't bother showing you guys because it's the same. <laughs> so the little embellishment that I used in the center there is from Beamy Beauty Box. I love those little ring embellishments. And then I'm going in with some ruby crystals and clear crystals and black crystals. And yeah, I'm just using the Ugly Duckling Stick It and I place the line and then you can just put the crystals on that and then you can cure it. It's just really easy. So I'm just using a micro swab to apply that stick it. So I'm gonna cure that. I applied crystals on her ring finger like I said. And then now we can go in with top coats. So the top coat I'm using here is my Glitter Bells No Wipe Top Coat. We'll have a bunch coming in soon. Sorry, we've been out of stock for like a month and a half <laughs> or two, but we have lots coming. Um, so I'm just applying this on the nails. It's great because it doesn't separate from stamping. So I'm just applying that on and then I'm avoiding the crystals and just applying it around the crystals because you don't want to get top coat on your crystals or you will dull the shine. I've said that in every video, but in case there's someone new here. So then I removed any paint that was on her finger and here is the finished result. So I did not cut her on her ring finger on the other hand, just FYI, she had a cut there from work. <laughs> just letting you guys know that. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys like this set. I had so much fun doing this. My clients are super chill and let me do whatever I want. So if there's anything you guys wanna see, please let me know in the comment section because then I could do it because I have super chill clients. So I hope you guys like this video and I will see you guys next time. Make sure you like, subscribe, and click the bell next to it in order to be notified when I post and please give me a thumbs up. Thanks, bye. Thank you.